Hello, people of Earth. I'm Zephyr, if you don't already know that by my channel name. But today I have an NU match for you, and this is a very quick battle I have because it's under five minutes, which is always a good thing because I have company over. But anyway, let's get on with this battle because I don't feel like going on and on about nothing at all. So, I believe that I'm going to go ahead and start off with a Pokemon of exponential proportions. One being Jackie Chan. Jackie! Freaking Sock! who's just going to throw a Toxic on his Relicamp as he's going to set up a Rock Polish. But even at plus two, Relicamp just can't outspeed me. But I didn't want to risk it, so I went out to Armor King, knowing full well he's going to go for a Head Smash, and Armor King resists that so well. Look at that, even with Eviolite. And that Water Ball did nothing. So I'm able to set up my Rocks, and he's already poisoned, so it's like, whatever. So I believe next turn, he's going to set up his own Rocks, and then I'm going to switch out of... Actually, I'm going to Roar him out. I do not think I'm going to go for that. So... He's going to go for Waterfall with his Caracosta. Laron is such a boss that he can take every move any day of the week, but unfortunately I flinch, so I'm going to have to switch out here. We can go into George W. Bush, my Tangela, and who is going to scare out this uh, Caracosta with the Giga Drain. I believe I go for Giga Drain, too. Actually, I go for Sleep Powder because, well, if he was going to switch out, I would have to be able to cripple that, whatever he wants to bring in. But... Uh, he brings in the Muck, and I'm able to put it to sleep. It's a good thing because Muck could ruin my day for Poison Jab. So, now he's going to bring in Leafeon. And I believe this is the point where I try to go for Leaf Seed again, but Leafeon's immune, being Grass-type, just like me. But it sets up a Swords Dance. So, I'm gonna, let me stay in here, go for HP Ice, see how much it does. It does 56%, so it's going to be a two-hit kill. He goes for Leaf Blade. Even with a critical hit, that only does 37%. That's how bulky Tangela is with Eviolite max HP and defense, and the next HP Ice is going to take out the Leafeon. So now Heatmore's in here, so I'm like, okay, let's bring in Magmortar. Magmortar, this is back when I actually had Magmortar on my team. Now I have Charizard, because Magmortar is some shit. So, Magmortar's going to come here and sucker punch me, thinking he could take me out, but Magmortar's like, no, I don't take crap from anyone. He's like, I'm going to kill you for Thunderbolt. You're going to die. You're going to stay dead, and that's just what Magmortar says. You don't freaking debate with Magmortar, you just listen to him. So, predicting me to go for the quick attack or, I don't know, the return, he's gonna go for freaking uh, Sucker Punch, and as I bring in my Zangoose, and I get greedy, try to set up two subs, and he kills me with an Inferno, which wouldn't have killed me except he got the burn. So, I'm gonna bring in my specially defensive Muck, I'm gonna go for the Poison Jab, it's gonna do... A good chunk I guess and I get the poison hacks to make up for two burns and he's gonna die to his own poison so now he brings in his own muck so I'm like okay I'm gonna go out to Laron hopefully he stays asleep long enough for me to be able to head smash and kill him so will he will he yes he does he's still asleep so head smash will end up being a two hit KO and I still don't take recoil because as you all know Laron has the ability Rockhead, which refuses recoil. And really, without it, Laron will even take the recoil, because he says, I don't need no recoil. I don't want the recoil. Laron's just a boss like that. But now he brings in the Relic Hemp again, I'm like, okay, it's obviously going to go for Waterfall. I mean, I'm not stupid. So let's go back into Tangela. Possibly scare him out with the Giga Drain, but I go for it anyway, just to hit whatever he wants to bring in, because I believe the rest of his team is kind of weak to Giga Drain, or can at least do a good chunk too with the game. So he brings in his Behem, and I believe I accidentally break Sleep Claws by going for another Sleep Powder, and I set up another Leaf Seed, which is kind of like trolling him. But uh, I think that makes up for it when he wakes up here and he uh, goes for the Psychic, and Psychic is going to actually do a lot to me. But um, he actually goes for a Trick Room, so I'm like, okay, he's going to go for Psychic here, I believe. And, yeah, that's just gonna kill off my Laron, because Laron was already at, like, what, 10 HP? And I see the Life Orb, so I'm like, okay, I could possibly go for the Shadow Seek and kill, but I guess Trick Room has, gives you more priority or something? I don't know, but I'm gonna bring in Tangela here. I believe I survive with a smidgen of HP of Psychic, and I'm able to take him out with a Giga Drain. And I, his last poke is the Muck, is it? Is it? Am I right? Nope, it's Caracosta. And if Caracosta had Aqua Jet, which it does, it still didn't kill me. It only did 4%. And I'm able to completely demolish the Caracosta with the Giga Drain 
So Tangela gets like, what, two or three kills in this battle? I mean, Tangela does business. Tangela doesn't play around. But anyway, that's the battle. If you liked it, leave a like rating. If you would like to subscribe, that's always appreciated as well. And as always, I will see you guys next time when I feel the need to record. Peace out.